Hey folks, welcome to Helen Roscoe Yoga on YouTube. I hope you're well. Um, in this short practice today, we're going to have a look at a kneeling sequence exploring downward facing dog, and I'm gonna apply it to working on a chair. So I've already recorded this as a, as a kneeling sequence. So if you would like to explore this as an alternative or a modified version of the same practice, please do stick around. So we're gonna start on the mat now you will be benefit rather from having a chair in front of you and you want the chair to be on your mat so that it's not half on the mat half off it's more likely to slip or if you're on a, a wooden floor for example it might slip so just make sure that your chair is in a stable position and we want to just take a few moments to center ourselves so let's just move those shoulders up and down a few times Sigh your breath out as you release the shoulders away. <sighs> Take a few movements with your arms, breath in, away from the body, breath out, back towards the body. Just explore that practice a few times with your breath, loosening up around your shoulder region, lifting up, lifting up, and then releasing and letting go. Okay bringing your hands onto the seat of the chair. Your feet are underneath your hips, so your feet are parallel to your hips right now. And we're just gonna take a few moments to explore a cat-cow variation here. So maybe just walk the feet a little bit further back, but as you do, your hips go with you. So with a breath out, I'd like you to draw the belly in and arch your spine as if towards the sky. With the breath in, Release the tailbone, the pelvis tilts a little, the spine lengthens, long, long spine, crown of head is forwards towards the space in front of you. As you breathe out, scoop the pelvis in, lifting, lifting, lifting through the back of the body. And as you breathe out, tilt the pelvis forwards a little, lengthen along the spine, shoulders spacious. So explore this pattern a few times with your breath. Notice how it feels across your shoulder blades. Dropping down into your feet, getting that support in place through the soles of your feet. And then take your time to come back to neutral, bend your knees, bring yourself up to stand. So take a few moments there to notice how you feel. Give those wrists a little bit of a circling action before you then bring them back onto the top of your chair. So I'm just gonna make sure I've got space behind me. Bringing my hands onto the top of the chair and just walking those feet a little bit further back. Not so much that I'm really long, long, long as if in a down dog, I'm somewhere between the two. Now what I'd like you to do on a breath in is bring your shoulders forwards as if they're moving over your wrists. And then on the breath out, take your pelvis back bend the knees like you're coming into a forward fold. So on the breath in, you're moving forwards, the back is long, the crown of head is towards the space in front of you. On the breath out, bend your knees a little and take the hips back. So there's this hip flexion that takes place on the breath out, on the breath in, you're scooping forwards. Just go between those two points a few more times with your breath. Each time you Breathe in, maintaining that lovely long spine. Each time you breathe out, maybe sinking a little further into your heels, bending the knees. So when you feel ready to come away from that practice, bend your knees, bring yourself upright, take a few moments to notice how you feel. So maybe shrug the shoulders up, and then release and sigh and shrug the shoulders away. Okay, let's come back onto the hands again. So I'm in this tabletop position where we started in our all fours. And then I'm gonna walk the feet further back this time. So I'm finding this lovely long length from my fingertips all the way through to my tailbone. 
So this would be me coming into a down dog position. And on a breath in, I'm gonna come forwards, come forwards, lifting my heels off the ground. And then on a breath out, bending the knees, keeping the heels lifted, almost like I'm yawning into that down dog position. Then the heels come down. On the breath in, rolling forwards, not collapsing through the tummy, just keeping this nice central line along the spine. And then lifting the heels, bending the knees, yawning back into that lovely downward dog with the knees bent. Just explore this variation a few more times. Obviously, you just come forwards as far as is comfortable for you with that weight bearing on your wrists. Finding that down dog position. So my knees are pretty bent here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play with lifting the heels, bending the knees, and then straightening out a little along the body, along the spine, along the backs of the legs, into the heels. <clears throat> so bending the knees, lifting the heels, the chest might lift a little, and then releasing back into that downward dog shape, peeking out, maybe wiggle your tail. And then when you're ready to come up, walk your feet together, bend your knees and bring yourself upright. Little shake out through your hands. So there's one more variation that we're just gonna explore here. I've not quite got the room behind me, so I'm gonna go on a bit of an angle. So my chair has <laughs> come off the mat, but keep yours fixed on that space. Make sure you've got room behind you. In fact, I might even have to go a little bit more on an angle. Okay, so I'm gonna find that down dog position again. So, walking the feet back, walking back, walking back snuggling into that downward dog position. I'm just gonna take my feet a little bit further back, hip distance apart, tailbone lifting, length along the arms. On an exhale, lifting one knee off the ground. So I'm balancing on one leg. And then with my next exhale, extending that leg out behind me, like I'm in a kind of a, a warrior three shape. I'm just gonna bend the knee a little, see if I can find that space through the front of my hip, and then bring the knee in, exhale, and place the foot down. Stretching out into that chair down dog. On an exhale, leaning to that other side, raising the foot off the ground, draw the knee in, and then with the next exhale, pushing through that back heel, towards the space behind me. Now, it doesn't need to be straight. You could play with trying to find that length through the back of your leg and along the front of your hips, the hip flexor opening. And then when you're ready to bring it down, bring the feet alongside one another, bend your knees a little, snuggle into that down dog shape. And then lift yourself up forwards, come over your wrists, bend your knees, <sighs> rise to stand, have a little walk around your space, just invite this quality of length through to the crown of your head, look around the space, position your chair and take a seat. Just a few moments to rest into a neutral position with your hands resting onto your thighs. The breath moving up the body to the crown of your head as you breathe in. Moving down the body to the tips of your toes as you breathe out. Letting go of tension in your body effort and holding, letting go of your practice. Inhale, just notice that little rise of energy, the uplifting qualities of the in-breath, bringing with it this lovely, gentle expansion. 
the exhale, settling, settling, settling as the breath releases from your body. Please do rest for as long as you need to. And when you're ready, invite your hands to come into the centre of your chest. Just invite a little bow forwards towards the earth. Bring yourself back upright, acknowledging your practice today. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the practice with me. Please do leave any comments based on your experience. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. Okay, thank you.